In this tutorial, we're going to be going over the uh, selections up here. And you can see these icons, uh, they all have little uh, something blue on each icon. And that represents uh, the selection that you want to select. Everyone has a blue one on it except this object. Uh, this is select object here. And it selects just the object. Now you got one here that's got a little blue in front of it in a square. Now this selects just faces. So I select here and if I hover over it, as you can see the faces are highlighted and they don't activate until I left mouse click. Then that one is selected. I can hold the shift key down and select over here and select multiple faces. Now if I want to deselect one, I would hover my mouse over one, hold the shift key down and click again. It appear nothing has happened. It is what I need to do is I need to move my mouse to the side. As you can see, it deactivated it. And I'll do the same for over here. And I'll add some more back on by just holding the shift key down and clicking. And if you wanted to select all of them, just uh, left click over here off the object. And you can also hover over the face you want and just hold your mouse button down and just drag and this will select multiple ones. And I can select down here and hold the shift key then drag up and select multiple ones this way. Alright we're going to go over to the uh, edges here and what basically this does is just select uh, edges. And the same way with points. It only selects points. And we got auto select. What this does, it acts like uh, all three of these. It'll auto select the point, an edge, and a face. So if I just hover over it, you can see it's uh, highlighting a face. If I hover over an edge, it highlights the edge. And if I hover over a point, it highlights the point. We're going to be going over paint mode and drag selection mode. We're going to select the face here. And I'm going to hold the left mouse button down and drag to the right and keep it held down and let go. With me being in paint mode, I have to use the manipulator to move it. I'll control Z that. Now let's compare this to the uh, drag selection mode. I'll select somewhere over here off the object to just select all the faces. And we'll repeat that one more time. I'll hold, click it once, hold the mouse button down. And when I'm finished, I'll let off the mouse button. And I'll click it one more time. This will be the double click. But on the second double click, hold it down. That way, you'll be able to move it like this instead of having to grab the manipulator. We'll control Z that. And I'll show you one more time. I'll just come down here, let go, click one more time. This makes it pretty fast. This is almost like a double click. Don't be confused by clicking it, drag, then double click because that's what will happen. So click it, drag it, let off, hold it down, then move the object. All right, I'm going to select a face here and I'm going to press loop. And when I click it, it loops all the faces that were selected all the way around the object. If I was to press loop again, you can see it goes the other way on the uh, loop on the first face that was selected. Now this also works with uh, edges. If I was to select an edge and loop it. It loops all the edges. Now let's go back to the uh, face one. If I was to, let's say, click a face and hold the mouse button down and drag to the right, now I'm. this will ensure me this will loop in the direction that I selected the face. So if I select the loop here, then it automatically goes in that direction. And if I select here and drag down, 
it'll loop in that direction. Now we got the ring. This works with edges. We'll select the edge here and we'll ring it. This basically loops all the way around just with the edges. I'll just select over here and I'll select the uh, face here. I will select one here in this corner and I'll shift click one over here and I will select this button here which uh, selects that will connect them all in between it. So I'll click here and it selected all the faces in between it. This also works with edges. Hold the shift key down, select multiple ones and it selects it and we have the rec mode this works by right mouse clicking as you can see I'm in face mode so if I was to right mouse click and drag it selects all the faces if I was to select the edges and right mouse click it would select all the edges This is also the lasso. You can right mouse click and draw over there that you want to uh, select, and it selects that. Let's switch back over to this mode here, rec mode, and I'll right mouse click and look where my cursor is at. And if I hold the control key down, a little minus key will pop up next to it. I'll tap it again so you can see it in the video. And if I hold the shift key down, it's a plus sign. This means add. The shift key adds. If I pull, hold the control key down, that's minus. So I want to add faces, so I'll hold the shift key down. And it'll select all the faces where it's the marquee's at, not on the face on, uh, the face it's on right now, if it's in between it, it'll select all of them uh, previous to it. So I'll let go. And that added them. Now if I wanted to subtract them, I would first activate the marquees by dragging. Then I would hold the control key down, and you can see my minus come up. And I'll uh, subtract the last four over here. Now, if I want to extend some uh, faces, I'll select the face here and I'll hold the control key down, or known as a CTRL key, and hold it down. Uh, do not select any of these uh, manipulators up here, but select off it. Why the control key is held down and just drag and this extends it in either direction. Now if I want to extend just this face without making them all together, I would hold the control key and the shift key down. And that would just extend the face. I'll just drag a few out over here. And this time I'll just uh, hold the control key down just to show you one more time. And that's how that would work. Now if I wanted to extend it, the control key and the shift key. And it extends just the selected ones. Now if I want to extrude one, I'll select here. Hold the control key down. We got three options, the blue one, a uh, yellow one, and this little red one up here. I'll select the blue one and extrude it like this. And I'm still got the control key down and I just let off the mouse. If I click it again, I can keep on extruding it. And now the control key is still held down. And I let off and it exits uh, the mode that I'm in. So I'll hold the control key down again. And we can select this one here. We'll extrude it like that. And I can hold, I'm still holding the control key down. And I can do it like that. 
and I let off. I'll hold the control key down one more time. Then I'll select the yellow ball in the middle here. And this freehand extrudes it. And you can keep the control key held down as you keep on clicking. Let's say we wanted to uh, delete a face. We'd be selected face mode and we would click it and we'd press the delete key on the keyboard. This will delete just that face or anything that's uh, selected, highlighted in blue. So let's say I selected here and looped it twice and delete it. And you can see it deleted the uh, selected faces. It'll also do anything, any edges that are selected. And press the delete key. As you can see, it made a hole in there. Now let's select a few more edges. This time instead of using the delete key, we're going to dissolve these edges. And by doing that, we'll press the backspace key on the keyboard. This is different than delete. This dissolves just the edges. You cannot dissolve a face, but you can dissolve an edge. And if you want to, to delete the whole object, you would need to select the object with this uh, select object mode and just press the delete key. I had paused the video and loaded up another cube here. I'm going to give you a little demonstration of what you can do with this. We'll just select the edge mode and I'll hover over this first edge and just hold my mouse button down and just drag to this one. I got one horizontal and one vertical and if I was to loop one they would both one would go horizontal one would go vertical you can do that I'll click over here to select I'll select this one here shift click down another one and we can loop that I can select here and here and we'll go between it and we can also loop these which goes all the way around it. And I'll deselect that. And I'll select one here. And one here. And we'll go the ring. And we can ring that. This also works the same way with faces. And this last part here, um, what I got here is uh, what it works on is two double clicks. And what this does, this is switch it to auto select mode. And probably a few of you ran into this problem why your model never gets selected because you're double clicking in here. Well, what this actually does is switches modes here. So if I would just click here, double click again, and double click one more time. You can see it brought up auto select mode. Now I can select anything, any edges, any points. Now when I do, you can see it's an auto select. And when I select any item, it will switch back over here. So I'll select a face. As you can see, I'm in face mode and still auto select. So I'll click here. I'll double click again. As you can see, it's an auto select. Let's say for this time, I'll select the edge here. As you can see, the icon jumped over here to the edge. So be careful when you uh, double click, because sometimes you'll try selecting your object, and then you'll be sitting here clicking and clicking, and you're actually just switching this. And uh, and if you wonder why your object don't get selected, because you're switching modes up here. And if you want to select your object, you can select that one there. But anyway, that's just a little tip on that.